dogs, and cats. These are just some of the other homeless. Fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests. A few years, a year ago, Alan and I adopted a dog at Camarillo Animal Shelter. And I knew before then that the animal shelters are just filled with animals that need homes. However, it's even more saturated now. And tonight I will share with you three points. One, the fact that there's a problem, which we all know, and I just stated it, how it happens, and how can we help. First of all, there is a problem. Why is there a problem? There's a problem because you know, in the past few years, people have lost their jobs. And when they lose their jobs, when they have lost their jobs, some people took their animals and locked them in their backyard, and then they lost their home. So these animals have been locked in their backyard with no food or anybody to care for them. That's one thing. Another thing is, People get animals when they don't really need, when they don't really want an animal. So number one, make sure you want, really want an animal. And two, make sure you have the resources and the money to take care of it and you have the time to spend with it, especially if it's a dog, because dogs are like people and they really need attention. Well, I guess people, yeah, actually, dogs are like people. Cats are a little more self-sufficient, and they like to be to themselves. So if you don't like spending time with an animal, but you love all the cats, maybe a cat is not for you or a rabbit. But if you love animals and you have the time to take care of animals, get a dog. Animal shelters are so saturated with dogs. And yes, they, there are other animals there too. There are horses, there are chickens, there are birds, there are horses. They have stalls for horses at the animal shelters. How many people knew that? A few people. Well, a few years ago, I got a traffic ticket, and it was like $400. And did you know that you can work off your traffic tickets by either doing community service, service around town, or you can actually request working at an animal shelter. Well, hello, animal lover here. I volunteered to work off my time at an animal shelter. It was fun, you would have known. All I had to do was wash the laundry for the animals, clean their cages and the pens. It wasn't that bad, it was actually fun. I did four hours, some days I did eight hours. It was a good, good time. And that's another thing that I'd like to tell you that you can do to help these animals. Animal shelters constantly need people to volunteer to help out at the animal shelter. They also need for people to volunteer donation gifts to the animal shelter. Donation like what? Money. You can also donate your time to walk the animals, take care of the animals. You can donate blankets food, toys, and believe me, animal shelters need plenty of blankets because as much as people are washing them, they're also throwing away other ones. So they constantly are in need of blankets for the animals because you know what? It gets cold at night. And do you like lying outside without something warm to snuggle into? I mean, even our dog loves his little blanket. In fact, I just washed it today and I stuck him out there to eat for dinner. And he's like, where's my blanket? I said, well, he's Linus. It's like Linus, blue blanket like Linus. So animals need blankets to keep warm just like we do. So if you have the time, if you have the resources, if you have anything that you don't need anymore, donate it to the animal shelter or wherever you want. Don't donate to the animal shelters need your help. They need all this stuff and more. You can make phone calls. You can call your friends and ask them if they want to go with you to an animal shelter in Camarillo or Northridge, Chatsworth. 
to volunteer your time there to help out, to walk the animals, as I said, or volunteer there, making phone calls, cleaning things, or whatever you want to do. It, they can always use help, whether you're working off a ticket or you just want to go there and help out. They need, they need us, one, to adopt the animals if we can, if we have the time, and two, they need us to donate items to them. So in conclusion, please, find the time to help these animals by either one, adopting an animal, two, calling a friend and having, seeing if they can help out by adopting an animal, or three, donating an item to food, toys, blankets to the animal shelter to make it, to make the animal shelter less cluttered with animals so that they can stay a no-kill facility like the Camarillo shelter, Mr. Toastmaster.